Cow on a Bus by Guy Rose. It's funny how the best days always start just like any other. The cow had stood in the same part of the same field for longer than she could remember. She liked watching the world outside her field, and every day at ten o'clock the same wee bus came zooming along the road and over the rickety bridge at the edge of her fence. She always stopped chewing and stared. She always wondered where it went. One sunny day, by accident, the farmer left the gate open, and at the same time as usual the bus came along. She thought to herself, This is my chance. I can finally find out where this bus goes every day. She stuck out her hoof. The bus stopped, the doors opened, and she hopped on. She was surprised to discover the seats were rather small, and there was only room for one meaty thigh. It had to do. She watched people get on and off, and always remembered to nod politely as they passed. There seemed to be lots of interesting places, but she couldn't decide where to get off. Eventually, she ended up back at her own field. The next day, she was better prepared and got off the bus outside the school. She watched as the children went in and stayed for playtime. She gave rides to all the children and became quite a celebrity. Everyone swarmed round trying to work out if she was white with black spots or black with white spots. She loved the school and didn't want to leave, but when the bus came at home time, she hopped back on and was home in time for milking. Now, you know what terrible gossips cows can be, and in the milking shed, everyone wanted to hear every detail of her day trip. The next day was hot and sunny, and she already had a plan. She was standing at the bus stop in plenty of time before the bus arrived and politely nodded to the driver as she took her usual seat. Today, she was going to get off at the beach. And when she got there, she was pleased to find that everyone liked her. She sat and watched the donkey marching up and down the beach giving the children rides, but couldn't get any peace. As crowds of people kept bringing her ice cream, snacks and treats. She enjoyed her popularity, but had to pack up and go home when the bus arrived. That evening, in the milking shed, no one could contain their excitement and everyone wanted to try on her kiss-me-quick hat. The next morning dawned bright and breezy, and the bus trundled through the country lanes and over the bridge as usual, what a sight met the driver's eyes. There, at the bus stop, just outside the field, stood over forty cows waiting for the bus. I'm afraid the driver didn't stop that day.